to LGFG. We're throwing love to the women. And today, my special guest, Andrea Toyin. Little John, I put your whole government out there. Whole name. My fault. I didn't mean to just do it. But um, she does so many things that it's too much uh, under one brand. So I'm kind of going to let her do that. Just tell, tell me and tell us about yourself. Yeah, I, I do a lot. I have been doing a lot since I graduated ASU. I really kind of moved from. <laughs> I, I mean, I did a lot on campus too. I held about five jobs at a given time. And I, I was teaching, I was an orientation leader, I was an ambassador, I was an academic skills tutor, uh, I did it all. And so I like that life. I like this fast paced life of kind of doing what I want, when I want, and how I want to do it. And that led me to starting my own business. So, I'm a 21 year old business owner, I run my little red light, which is a personal assisting and time management consulting business. So, if you want to get your life right, call Shameless me. Plug Shameless right plug. There. Um, call me. Seriously, I am excellent at helping people define their goals and then helping them get to their goals. That's pretty much what I do. I like to support other people in being successful. That's what makes me happy. It's what I did in college and what I found out. And that I can make money doing it because people pay me to do it because you don't want to do it. So, I am here. Um, I'm also an operations manager for Javon Langford, who is the Global Boys and Men's Empowerment. He is a global speaker. He works with boys and men, not just in the Greater Los Angeles area, but around the nation and in London, Australia, and Canada as well. Right now, we'll be exploring more countries. Um, he is writing a book. He's going to be going on a book tour. So I do a lot with him and his for profit business. He also runs a nonprofit called The Mentor. Um, and so I support them there, help them. Uh, run logistics and operations while I'm on the ground. I manage about 25 men on a given on a given day. That's a lot of fun. So being the only female on staff, but yet knowing that I'm supporting them so that they can go and support middle school boys through this transitional period of their life by using mentorship as a vehicle and um, really just remind me of those good men in this world. Hey, uh, they're doing good things. And, and I love being a part of an organization that's promoting yeah, yeah, promoting like excellence in minorities and promoting excellence in, in, in men and boys. Because yeah. there's just so much dysfunction right now with the conversation between men and women. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I just want success for both of us by any means necessary.